40 feet below the ground on U.S. Highway 42 is a 1,600-foot tunnel that has been blasted out to construct a four-lane highway from the Gene Snyder Freeway to the new East End Ohio River Bridge. We're really, really proud and really, really happy to have the Hyards Creek Fire Department um, in such close proximity and a willingness to work with us so well. Um, it gives the, the employees that are doing the work a lot of peace of mind to see the fire department out here taking an interest. They know that they've got their back. The tunnel will become second to the Cumberland Gap in the longest highway tunnels in Kentucky. The project caught the attention of the Harrods Creek Fire District many years ago. Probably 10 years ago, uh, things were starting to heat up and they'd get close and then it would stop and then in the year or two go by and it would start talking again and studies were being done and you wouldn't hear anything for a while then all of a sudden it looks like it's going to go and um, I would say in earnest it probably started ramping up uh, four years ago. Immediately the planning began for Harrods Creek. Contacted the uh, city of Seattle and we went out and visited them uh, and tried to tap into their knowledge as to what we're going to potentially run up against. We came back and talked amongst ourselves about staffing, equipment, uh, potentially what are we going to need. All of our people that are on the rescue unit have to be cross-trained in uh, water rescue, high angle, machinery rescue, confined space, and firefighting abilities. Uh, because any one of those things that pertains to the tunnel and or the bridge, uh, we could be called upon at any time to have to perform to that level. Harrods Creek added 15 firefighters and almost $1 million in heavy rescue equipment to be prepared for the tunnel. They're making it pretty much 100% automated with uh, different types of cameras and detection systems that will be able to pick up any upticks in CO readings, potential fires, uh, spills, uh, and it's all going to be monitored by uh, video camera linked to Trimark. We're going to have TV monitors in the station here on the wall that we can view umpteen cameras so that we have a pretty good idea as to what we have and where is it located. Because as his history has proven that incidents on freeways are generally called in by the public, Oftentimes the public is made up of people who don't live in the area, so they don't know where they are. Regardless of the emergency, Chief Tyler is confident his team is ready. A lot of effort has gone into uh, educating ourselves and our people. A lot of effort's gone into the training. A lot of effort has gone into making sure that we've purchased the right equipment, that we've set up the right uh, mutual aid agreements. We've cross-trained other neighboring departments. And I believe that if, uh, if an incident does happen, I feel confident that uh, this, will, this will mitigate itself pretty rapidly with the amount of people and equipment we have.